All right, I have no idea how to code, but in this video, I'm gonna attempt to build my own software with AI. I know this sounds crazy, but AI can now build and deploy apps in minutes. In this video, I'm going to test that and build my own software that I actually use with no coding experience at all. So if you're not a technical person, make sure to stick to the end of this video to see what is capable with AI Believe me, it's absolutely crazy. So we are now inside of data button. Let's click new app and we want to name our app. We're going to call this Pintube. Go to pitch and for the pitch, we're going to say Pinterest for YouTube ideas to compile competitors YouTube videos and have the ability to pin videos and add notes to them. For the app description, dashboard of competitors YouTube videos, add a competitor's YouTube channel by adding their channel ID and the ability to pin them to a board and add a note to the videos. So this is basically Pinterest, but for our YouTube content ideas, and able to pin videos, add notes to them and build our own ideas from inspired videos. We let that run for about a minute or so, coming up with this initial prototype that it spits out. Here is Pintube. You can see there are the videos there. There is the ad competitors channel aspect, and there is a tab that says pinned videos. You could also change the light and dark mode. Let's go ahead and add the API for the YouTube channels. So then we could actually add real YouTube channels instead of having this mock data. It's now asking us if we want to add a API called YouTube channels, and it's asking if it's okay to go ahead and create this. So let's go ahead and give it access to create this. After a couple seconds, it is now saying they'd like to install the necessary package for the data API, which I'm not a developer, I don't know all this stuff. I just go ahead and say yes, since it's asking me for permission. And I keep doing this a couple times, as you can see, just saying yes to everything that it's asking me if it's okay to do. One thing I want to mention is if you check the log of the agent, you can see that there's all these agent messages and essentially the agents work with each other. So what it does is it kind of handles the errors for us. So instead of us having to check and see if it's working correctly, the agent actually checks the code that it wrote and then we'll say, hey, there is an error with this. And then the agent will respond and say, oh, sorry for that. Let me go ahead and fix that. At this point, the agent keeps asking me if it could run certain things. So right here, I'm saying, yes, stop asking me if you can make changes because it's quite annoying. I'd rather it just run automatically if it needs to make a change. So here's a quick example of what I was saying, how the agent interacts with each other. So it shows that it updated the code from home. And then now it is saying that there was an import error. So it's actually automatically checking that for us. As you can see in the agent log here, it is going through and there seems to be errors over and over again, but it's actually fixing it without us having to interact. The agent log is now saying that it should be running correctly. So, so, so let me add a YouTube channel ID and see if it adds. So as you can see, it definitely added my channel up at the top, but it does not show the videos in the feed. So now I need to add that aspect to it, which is obviously a really important part to this platform. Simple prompt here, it shows a channel it was added, but I need you to add the videos to the feed from the channel as well. Now let's go ahead and double check this we added our channel and now you can actually see the youtube video with the thumbnail the title all that stuff so it is now working now i'm going to make some changes to the thumbnails to make the thumbnails higher quality as you can see they're a bit blurry so i'm going to give the prompt now and now let's double check it shows that the channel was added and here we go the beautiful looking thumbnails that looks great on to testing the pin feature so i went ahead and pinned this video and let's go ahead to the pinned tab here pinned video is now there Using this suggested prompt from data button on the bottom right, I actually want to add a notes feature now. So let's move on to that and see how we could actually implement this feature. As it does that and does the coding on the back end, I just want to make a point. This is looking very good for the little amount of time we have put into this. Obviously, we want to make the user interface and the functionality a bit better, but this is pretty cool that I built this really quickly using data button and AI. I'm not a technical person. I think this is pretty cool. I copy and pasted the channel ID of another channel and I want to go ahead and add it now so we can see multiple of these different YouTube channels in our feed. So I added the AI grid. You can see the videos there now. So that's pretty cool. You can see both mine and this different YouTube channels in the feed. The agent now on the right hand side is looking like this is working. So I'm going to test this add a note here and see if it actually adds a note to this video card. And I'm getting an error here. So let me try to troubleshoot this. Tried a couple more times and there were errors. So I went ahead and clicked this preloaded add notes feature on the bottom right to see if that would help us out. And this actually did solve our problem. So sometimes following the pre-prompted things down below in the bottom right agent actually helps. One more time, let's try this. So let's add a note to this video. And now it's saying that it actually was saved successfully. We checked the pinned videos. You could see the notes below the video, which is amazing. That's exactly what we're looking for. 
All right, so now that the basic functionality and user interface of the platform is working, let's go ahead and get a little bit creative. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to make the user interface look nicer, add some modern and sleek designs, and then add some gradient aspects to make this look better. And let's see what it gives us. Boom, there you go. A cool gradient background. As you can see the different tabs, that looks really cool. The, I think this looks super, super sleek. We pin a video, it's pinning successfully. We could successfully add a note, all this stuff. This looks great. And I honestly wanted to add these different features for extras in this video. I want to test the capabilities and see how far we could take this. So I'm going to do a couple other prompts here to make this even better, but this is a really cool start. Another cool little feature here is when you hover over a video, it actually makes the thumbnail in the video bigger. This is just a little tweak that makes the user interface a little bit more intuitive and just makes it look a little bit nicer. So a SaaS is not a SaaS unless it is deployed to its own URL. So let's see how easy it is to actually deploy our site so people could actually go ahead and use it on the internet. A couple minutes later, and it actually gives us this URL to actually go ahead and test it out. So let's copy and paste this. Now we're on the home page. We could add a channel ID. This looks honestly amazing. This blows my mind with how good this looks. Having no coding experience at all, building this with AI. Next feature is having a separate notes tab. So any video that has a note added to it is then in the this feed here only for notes. And then we could categorize our thoughts a bit more to come up with different ideas for videos. So another cool feature I built in. So instead of having the video feed, I changed it to the inspiration feed and we have the ability to remove any video that does not fit with our inspired videos. So that way our inspiration feed is only videos that we could potentially use as an idea for a video. To make this more like Pinterest, but for YouTube videos, I added the ability to create boards. So as you can see here, I created a no code SaaS board and I'm adding these certain videos to that board. This is a great way to categorize certain video concepts. So if you have multiple videos that tie into the same concept, this is a great place to visualize all of that and keep these in one specific spot. And I called this the boards tab giving you the ability to sort through different boards. All right, so there we have it. We have a fully built software using just AI and using text prompts to build an entire software for us. I have zero coding experience at all. I'm not a technical person. The fact that I could use a platform like DataButton to take an idea and turn it into a full SaaS application absolutely blows my mind. 2024 and 2025, is going to be a really exciting time for AI in these no code AI web development platforms and AI across the board. It's just getting crazy. I actually have a school community in the description. It is called AI for non techies. So if you are not a technical person and you want to follow along with these different AI tools, just like this it is the perfect place to go if you are not technical and want to learn AI. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave a comment on what you thought about this. Did this blow your mind? I wanna know in the comments below. So guys, I appreciate it. If you guys wanna sign up with DataButton, there is a link in the description to do so. See you guys in the next video.